All right, everybody. First and foremost, I want to tell you, if you're running Call of Duty on PC and it's crashing all the time, start it back on safe mode. And when you can change the graphics, go to options. Uh, is it graphics? Full screen borderless. Try that. And if it's still crashing, I don't know what to tell you. All right, the couple of things that they have to fix, like I don't, I, I'm really enjoying the game, especially the main thing that I enjoy is I could play with my homies that, that are on Xbox and they're on PlayStation, and that's mainly when I play. Like my homies will come on and, and we'll play. You see that these are off because my streaming computer, I think the RAM went, I don't know what happened. It's the RAM though. Uh, so I got to get some new uh, RAM for it or whatever. I don't know. But whatever. When that gets back up, that's when I'll start streaming again. And a uh, couple of things that they really need to fix. I think that I really think learning the maps, right? As we're learning the maps and one mistake you make you make one mistake you die that's the biggest fucking problem nobody will enjoy themselves if you make one mistake and die what i mean is you go in a room and you look left and someone's right you die instantly your guy says I'm not even going to, I'm just going to set up the game and hopefully this gives it some perspective. Like I'm going to go four against, I don't even want any friendly bots. I just want me to be on the map and that's it. And we're going to play Piccadilly. Like the, the, this is literally the worst, probably the third worst map, second worst map in Call of Duty history. Free Fall is the first one. Don't at me. And it's funny that Infinity Ward made that map also, I think. Or Raven, whoever. I don't know who made the map, but... <sighs> okay, we're going to go Piccadilly and... I think the footsteps are just way too loud. The footsteps in the game... They're way too loud. And why do I have a long 16 second countdown in a private match? Like, come on. Who's connecting? Me, just me. That's it. All right, so I start. I don't even know where the enemy spawns at because I don't play the map that much. I don't play the game that much. Look at the map. Look at this layout. Like, why is this this is just stupid all right so i'm i'm in the map right i i hear him i heard him yeah because the loud footsteps he, he was too far for me to even hear him right and usually usually it's when you don't see someone like you're you're running You're running and, and and your character talks. Like I I could be running this way and it'll be a guy right there. And my guy will say, character spot, talk, spot it. So now I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, where is he? It, it's the, the character chatter. Like when I'm running, when I'm running, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have any character chatter when I'm running. This is the way you fix your game, Infinity Ward. The people who are chilling like this, they should talk. Character, target spotted. And it should be loud enough that the person running can hear them. If y'all get, this is how you fix the, the because I know they don't want to work three years on a game, right? They don't want to work three years on a game and then take out their, take, 
they they worked on character character chatter for three years, and then people don't like it. Then they just take it out. They're not they they don't want to do that. It's their baby. That's what I was saying with Black Ops Four. Like the the specialists, they worked on it for three. One of my bitches texted me. They worked on it for three years. And then you're not, they're not going to just change their specialist into a kill streak because you guys say it. That's their baby. It's a specialist, so that's how they're going to play it. This has character chatter in it. They're not going to take the character chatter out. Black Ops had character chatter, but it was stupid character chatter. Like, I'm reloading and stuff like that in Black Ops 2. It was like planting Claymore. It wasn't, I see the enemy or... Or stuff like that. They would say that, but you would actually see the enemy. You get what I'm saying? In this, it could be a guy over here, and you don't even see him. And your character will say, enemy in the area! Enemy over there! Like stupid stuff. And the footsteps, I don't even want to talk about the footsteps. The footsteps are just way... Too loud. Way too loud. It's just too much stuff. Look, my guy is saying stuff. I didn't even see that guy. It's it's just way too much stuff on these maps. Way too much stuff on these maps. But I understand. This is this is how I this is how I um Look at it, right? I understand that it's early in the game, right? It's early in the game, and the game has all of the, what is it, the ingredients to be a good game. Like, like it's it's a modern game. It got M4s, M16s, AK-40. Look, I can hear people running all around me and shit. Running all around me and shit. Although they're not real people, but. You know, it has all the ingredients to be a good game. Uh, when we learn the maps, you know, the maps aren't good. But when we learn the maps, they, you know, we're going to know where to look and stuff like that when they get later in the game because they're not going to take the maps out of the game. Just That's just reality. We're going to learn the maps, and it's just going to be second nature, basically. Like, to look here, look here, look here. But it, it's just, like, they co you come in here, it's just too much stuff. It's too much stuff. Like, I understand what they're going. It's a library. But, like, it's, it, a guy could be back there, up, up on them steps. And it's just too much stuff. And this is one fucking room in the game. What the fuck? Look, why can you go down? I, I found this out yesterday. My homie jumped down there and was like, oh, it's closed. Why is, why? Why can you go down here? It's just too much unnecessary stuff in these games. And in this game, and it, it's been a trend with like, look, enemy at the buses. Enemy at the buses. Are you serious? Is that a call out enemy at the buses? Look, and now I'm like, oh. And he really killed me. Like, I not He could have he could have just saw me and I could have just kept running and then he could have came up behind me and killed me. Although it was a bot, but if it was a person, he would have said the same thing. Enemy contact. Like, now I know he's there. Like, that's stupid. <sighs> But but mainly what I'm what I'm getting at is the footsteps. Of course, the claim everybody know the claimers are too powerful. The shotguns are powerful as fuck. Um, I just think you need to turn this. Let me sum it up right now. Turn time to kill up or down. I don't know how you wanna how y'all wanna put it. I think time to kill is too fast. It's too high. Turn time to kill down. Add one more bullet or something. One more bullet power. 
If the health is at 100, put it to 110, not 150 or whatever. Everybody got different terminologies and stuff. So right now, if this game energy is on 100, turn it to 100 and look, enemy at the back alley, like, like what? Like what? Who's reading? It says back alley up top, but who's reading that? And another thing, the the mini map, the mini map and those those red dot shots. Put the dots back on the mini map, please. The red dot shots, right? The red dot shots come up on the compass, and it's nothing on the mini map. Why is the mini map there? When people said we wanted the mini map back, not I didn't really, you know, I was gonna willing to learn the game, but when people say we want the mini map back, they meant the dots on the mini map also. How are we going to look at the mini map and be like, okay, so my teammate is there, I'm here, and then look at the dots on the screen. We can't look at both at the same time. One is here, one is there. Like it's it's just common sense. That that I'm I'm glad that that came up. But put the dots back on the mini map. Put the dots back on the mini map. Um, lower the footsteps. Turn time to kill up a little more. If the energy's one ten, turn it to one fifteen. I mean, if the energy's 100, turn it to 110, 115, something like that. Player chatter, turn it off if you're running. If you're running like this, turn the player chatter off. You know, so people can't hear. God damn. <laughs> Fuck. So people can't hear you talking. That's most of my deaths are people hearing my footsteps or people hearing me talking. Enemy over there. And I'm like, oh, shit. And then the guy heard the direction my voice is coming from. Then he turns around and kills me. But I didn't even see the guy because the player visibility is so low. So turn the chatter off unless you're like this. You remember how Ghost was? Look at my, look at my triangle, right, on the minimap. Ghost, if you start running, the triangle will, like, fade out. It'll be, like, transparent. But when you got a full triangle and you're just patrolling an area like this, this is when you talk. Enemy over there and, and stuff like that. So rushers, people moving around fast, not if you're walking. You still talk if you're walking. But if you're running, if you're running, you go transparent and then you talk then you don't talk. But if you're not transparent, you talk because you don't want to take chatter out the game completely. So that's my fixes. I say turn time to kill higher. Player chatter, that's a big thing. Player chatter and footsteps. Player chatter, do what I said, and footsteps turn it down 20 decibels. And then bring back some classic maps. Got to. And I, I, I've never been a, 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 a fan of bringing back old maps, but in this game, you're probably going to have to because your map-making remedy isn't good at all. So that's all I got to say. I'm out. Peace.